Rev it up and welcome to Cars Yeah, show number 1626. This is Cars Yeah, where you'll enjoy interviews with inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Mark Green is here to provide you with a fuel injection of automotive inspiration. So get in, sit down, buckle up, and get ready for a wild ride here on Cars Yeah. Hello, inspiring automotive enthusiasts, and welcome to Cars Yeah. I'm revved up, and I'm really excited today because I'm bringing back a very special returning guest. He's uh, calling in from New York. His name's Jared Kugel. Jared, how are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great, and it's great to be back. All right. Do you have your seatbelt on? Are you ready for a fun ride? Absolutely. Let's get rolling. We're going to dive deep into what's happened with Jared and his business, Tire Agent, in a minute. But first, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not sure I asked you this before. Tell our listeners one little thing about you, Jared, that they may not know. <laughs> All right. So growing up, my brother and my dad used to call me the human tire fitment guide <laughs> because <laughs> I used to know most of the fitments of uh, most of the vehicles out there on the road. So like what size goes on what vehicle? You know, this is funny because a lot of my guests will say, well, I could identify cars by their headlights at night or their taillights or so forth. You've got, you're the first one <laughs> that's uh, the tire <laughs> fitment expert. Now, reminder, our listeners, uh, Jared was on the show back in August, so we're exactly three years ahead of 2017. He was my 826th guest. We didn't plan this. Today, he's my 1,626th guest, so that's kind of funny that the numbers align there. But given that you're an expert in tire fitment, aligning numbers is your bag. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let me give a proper introduction for new listeners that maybe hadn't heard that show. You can go back and hear it because it's still on the Cars Yeah website. Derek Kugel is the CEO and co-founder of TireAgent.com. It is a smart tire recommendation platform for you consumers. Tire Agent takes your driving habits and the purpose of your vehicle into consideration to suggest the perfect tire at the perfect price for you. He's only 34 years old, and he boasts an impressive 14 years in the tire industry. Now, if you add when he was a little kid and could figure out tire replacements, let's call him a 32-year expert in the tire industry, following manufacturers and distributors and retailers. Many of Jared's early years in the industry were spent working in his family business, where he initiated the company's first online ordering system, which now represents a significant portion of their sales. TireAgent.com provides you a fast, convenient, easy, and foolproof way to make sure you make the best choice for your tire needs. So we'll be back in a minute to talk to Jared. We're going to say a thank you to our sponsors here. Give them a little love because they're the reason that we're on this show. And we come back, we're going to talk tires and how you can order tires right from your phone. It's really easy. So sit tight, stay buckled up. Did you know that Covercraft is much more than car covers? They offer protection for the inside of your vehicles as well. No matter what kind of vehicle you drive, Covercraft makes a floor mat, a cargo area protection product just for your vehicle. Their plush custom fit floor mats turn any ride into something special. Their premier Berber custom floor mats, which are a favorite of mine, if you want something very stylish and unique for your favorite ride, they also have Weather Shield floor liners that provide ultimate protection for heavy dirt mud snow and slush their carhartt custom cargo liners not only look great but keep your rear cargo area and seats protected from the kids the pets or whatever's going on back there do you have a pet that destroys your vehicles covercraft has you covered for that too with a wide variety of pet protection options is your vehicle getting a little long in tooth there's no better way to give it a new car look than with a custom fit floor and trunk mat I replace mine every few years with something a little different just for fun. All your options are easy to clean, they secure to the floor, and they look oh so good. Don't forget your trunk too. Custom fit trunk liners for sedans, coupes, and SUVs are perfect to protect the factory carpet from all those things that can stain, tear, and damage your carpets. Check out Covercraft.com for the huge number of styles, colors, and options that you'll love. And I've got a deal for you here at Cars Yeah. If you use the Yeah 120 code at Covercraft.com, you'll get 10% off your Covercraft order on me. Go to Covercraft.com, use the code Y-E-A-H-120 at checkout and get 10% off today. Covercraft, they've got you covered. American Collectors Insurance. That's who now protects my Porsche Turbo. The one I call 
My Orange Crush. They've been protecting vehicles since 1976. With all the time, effort, and money you've put into your classic vehicles, do you know how much you would receive if yours was stolen, damaged, or totaled in an accident or a fire? Your regular auto insurance carriers won't tell you until after the claim, and more than likely, you'll be in for a rude awakening. With an agreed value policy from American Collectors Insurance, you'll be paid your vehicle's full agreed value. No surprises. So don't just hope for a fair claim settlement. Be certain and know exactly what you'll get with an agreed value policy. I shopped around and decided to protect my car with American Collectors Insurance. Give them a call today for a quote at 866-ACI-YEAH. That's 866 866- 224-9324 and protect the ones you love. Tell them Mark Green at Cars Yeah sent you. That's American Collectors Insurance. Classic car insurance designed by collectors for collectors, folks just like you and me. All right, Jared, we are back. Uh, before we jump into what is new and improved with what you're doing these days and the tremendous growth you've seen, I want to ask you about a success quarter mantra, some kind of saying that's important in your life. It's a nice way to get the tires spinning here on cars. Yeah. So Jared, grab the wheel. You got it. Uh, so growing up, my dad used to always say to me nonstop quitters never win and winners never quit. <laughs> uh, so that's always uh, driven me. It's it's built a, a fire inside me to not just be good at what I do, but to always strive to be the absolute best. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's one of those things. It's like never, ever, ever give up. Um, the Winston Churchill quote, which I hear from virtually every racer I have in this show. <laughs> Let's dive deep into what's happened because uh, I was noting here that TireAgent.com reports that its sales have grown by nearly 300% from the first half of 2019 to the first half of 2020. It's absolutely spectacular. I'm really proud of where you've come because when we talked before, you were kind of a guy sitting in a desk, sharing an office with somebody else, <laughs> just kind of pushing this along. And now you've got a staff, you've moved up a few blocks, I was teasing him about his address. It's uh, the numbers are getting smaller, which means his business is, his shop is getting uh, more and more important. So let's talk about what's happening with you, and more importantly, uh, this incredible transition from the fact that we can now order tires for our cars right from our phone. It's so easy while we're we're sitting there, we're in a parking lot, we notice that we need some new tires. So tell us what's going on at TireAgent.com, Jared. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've made a lot of changes. So uh, we're an online tire wheel retailer, and we now offer over 60 brands of tires and wheels. We're now, uh, we now offer Allstate Tire Road Hazard Protection. Uh, so it's backed by them, uh, and it's the best on the market. And then we launched our proprietary platform called PayPair, which is huge right now because we allow consumers to fill out one application and to apply to multiple payment plan companies and leasing companies and finance companies at checkout. Whoa. So it's yeah. And it doesn't matter what your credit score is. You could still apply. Uh, so whether you have good credit, low credit, bad credit or no credit, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. Uh, we try to help as many people as possible. And right now with, you know, things being tight with the economy and people working on a budget, I mean, you no longer have to sacrifice budget for quality because we could put you into a payment plan that's affordable. Well, that's tremendous. Not to mention that you and I talked about this before, and I think we know this, those of us who are car people, tires are one of the most ignored things on cars. Uh, every time I take my car in for service, I always pride myself in having the right tire pressure in my tires. And they always tease me about it. And I asked them last time I took my car in, what do you usually see? And they say, typically we see 15 to 20 pounds down on tire pressure all the time. People yeah. never check their tire pressures, not to mention they never take the time to look at their tires. And you think about it's like that Michelin ad, which, you know, your life is rolling on your tires, literally. But you're making it easier for people because tires are one of those things that I like buying tires because I love the smell of new tires. But yeah, I'm a little crazy. But most people do <laughs> not like buying new tires. It's like going to the dentist is necessary. You're getting a new roof on your house or something. So you're making it easier with this way. So if people maybe are a little crunch for money, um, they can still put a new set of rollers on the car. Absolutely. I mean, one of the reasons why we built this platform, PayPair, on Tire Agent was because we found that people were having trouble in this whole country with affording things. And tires are the one thing that get people to their job. You have to carry your family in it. I mean, so you should never have to sacrifice your budget for the quality if you want a good tire. It should should always be affordable to anyone. Now, when we were chatting in our pre-show chat, you gave me a statistic on how many tires are purchased on devices, mobile devices, phones? 
Yeah, yeah. It's like 70 to 80% of our customers are buying it from their cell phone. Well, the cool thing now is even us older guys, and I'm speaking for myself, not for you. You're a young man. <laughs> um, you know, a lot, I see so many of my friends now that are in my age bracket that are perfectly comfortable doing all of this on their device now. And your timing is impeccable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we're at a golden age in terms of where we are in technology and with e-commerce. And I was telling you podcasts. And thankfully, with things being so far ahead, we're able to help people, you know, in a variety of ways, whether it's just on desktop, mobile, tablets. I mean, there's just so many avenues. And I think it's only going to continue to grow. And I think the technology in which people can purchase and listen to podcasts is just going to keep improving. Oh, absolutely. I've seen incredible growth even this year with the downloads of my guests listening. And I, th I think it's a combination of just, you know, you kind of hit a stride after a while when you're in business, people start to learn and hear about you, but also people just get more comfortable with the whole platform and the idea. So walk our listeners through, I know it's visually or audio, audio wise here, not visual audio wise yeah. here. Um, the process, what happens from the beginning when they t uh, type in uh, tire, your company name, uh, tireagent.com, and then how they go through the process and how easy it is. Oh, yeah, it's it's really, really seamless. Um, so basically, you go on tireagent.com. You put in your year, make, and model. From there, we tell you the tire size. Then we give you recommendations. And we also list every other tire that we offer, but we do give you three recommendations. And then from there, you just add the tires to your cart, go through checkout. And on the very last page, you'll see all the payment plan offerings and all the leasing offerings and finance offerings. And uh, you fill out one application, and you can apply – to multiple uh, providers. And then our goal is to put into a set of tires that are affordable for you, whether it's you pay monthly, weekly, whether you want 0% interest, no money down, you know, whether you want to do $50 down, we give you a whole bunch of uh, choices to choose from. Now, one of the things that when we buy tires uh, online or from someone else is the last thing you want is the tires to show up at your door and then you got to figure out how to get them in your car and take them somewhere yep. to get them mounted. So how do you help with yep. that? Yeah. So we do a couple of things. So most of our orders are being delivered within two to four business days. So it's pretty quick. Wow. Yep. Two and to four also, business days. Yeah. yeah I yeah. don't even think I get my tires that quick at Costco because like, <laughs> I have kind of odd size, you know, for my sports car. So it usually takes yep. a week or so. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, we have our occasions where it goes a little longer, but for the most part, it's two to four days. And then from there, we during checkout, you can actually choose an installer to have the tires shipped to. And then you just go there and you get it done. I mean, it's that simple. Well, I'm sitting here with my phone right now and you have made, I mean, since we last talked, you've modified this thing. It's streamlined. It's super cool. You've got a support. Yep. Uh, so if I need some questions answered, I'm not quite sure what I should do. looks like you've got help there too. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. We have a customer service team that's very knowledgeable in tires, wheels, uh, the payment plan offerings, the leasing offerings, the finance offerings. So we, we really train our staff very, very well and repeatedly. So a whole bunch of little mini Jared's walking around knowing exactly what <laughs> size tire to put on your car. And you got all sorts of payment uh, options here, including PayPal. So it's just, yeah, super streamlined. And I'm looking through, I mean, all the big name brands are here. Everybody's here. Michelin, one of my favorites I put on my cars. Everything's here. I mean, you just made it so easy. So uh, as they say, you come a long way, baby. <laughs> this is pretty <laughs> cool. I think it's tremendous. And I want to congratulate you for, you know, how far you've come here. Let me ask you this. And I, I asked you this before. I assume your answers probably changed a little bit. When you got to start a business like what you've done and you're trying to build this thing, talk a little bit about one of the biggest challenges you faced as you were building this process and how you worked your way through it and how it taught you uh, some valuable lessons moving forward. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So the hardest part for me, especially when I <laughs> spoke with you in the very, very beginning, everyone wants to tell you that your company is not going to make it or that your uh -huh. idea is not going to make it. Yeah. It just, it happens, yep. especially when you're going into a crowded space like tires. Yep. And the trick is you can't let them knock your confidence in what you're building. Mm -hmm. For us, I wasn't a coder. <laughs> I was a tire guy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't come from the VC world. I came from the tire world. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the trick was finding an area where an industry is weak and work tirelessly until you figure out how to do it better and like what's missing. For, for us, I knew what was missing was a solid protection plan on tires, which is why I went to uh, Allstate and got them to, to work with me. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing was how do you make tires affordable, which nobody was really doing. The only thing that was really available were credit cards and 
how many people get declined from credit cards on an everyday basis? Tons yeah. and tons and tons of people. So I knew we had to kind of work in a way that could help the common person that was having these struggles. Yeah. So now if you fast forward three years, Tire Agent is now considered one of the most innovative companies in the industry. Whereas three years ago, friends, investors, people you would just meet would say, you can't get it off the ground. And I was determined to prove them wrong. <laughs> I, I taught myself really everything I had to teach myself. And then the trick is you want to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. Yes. Than you. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm a tire person, right? Mm-hmm. Through and through. <laughs> it's in my blood. Yeah. But I'm not a VC person. I'm not a coder. I'm not a marketing person. So I had to bring people in that have been there, done that, that can kind of walk us through it and, and kind of guide us. Smart. That is the key. I heard that from so many listeners here is, uh, yeah, f- define your weaknesses and then surround yourself with really smart people, uh, people that are way smarter than you. Now, I don't know how someone like Elon Musk does it because he seems to be the smartest guy on the planet. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I know that he uh, he swiped away, for instance, in SpaceX, uh, some NASA rocket scientists that came to work for him and so forth. So, yeah, it's worked on, on every vein. And I love the pun, working tire Leslie, to do what you've done. <laughs> That's very, very cool. And, you know, it's just really, really neat what you've done and the fact that you stuck with it uh, because you're right. So when you start new things like this, so many people, yeah, I would uh, identify you as a disruptor. And I love disruptors. I think of Warby Parker or Harry Shave Club or, you know, some of these companies. And if you even go back to uh, uh, shoe companies that, you know, people thought you can't ever sell shoes online. Nobody's going to buy it. They have to try them on. Well, we ship them to them. They don't like them, they send them back. Warby Parker, we send you five pairs of eyeglasses to try on. You ship them back. I mean, you find ways around it, right? Yeah, I mean, the hardest part with tires is people didn't understand that there are different tires for different types of people, right? So it's like when you get shoes, you have your basketball shoes, you have your hiking shoes, your running shoes, and the list goes on. With tires, it's like the same thing. You have your all-terrain, your mud terrain, your performance tires, your touring tires, and and, it, and it's different for every person for every purpose. Yeah. And so for us, we hired writers to do custom content for all of our tire pages because I wanted it to be relatable for people that knew nothing about tires. And so I felt like that was a big friction point with getting people to buy online. It wasn't just the affordable payment plans and financing. It was, uh, it was also about, you know, getting people to understand that tires are important. And now let me show you why. Yes. You know, that is so key. I've gone in to buy tires before and you're standing there and someone will come in and say, what are your cheapest tires? And I get it. People have to shop by price. But the the salesman, he wasn't trying to upsell, but he said, well, that might not be the right choice. You've got a big, heavy truck and you tow with it. Mm-hmm. You don't really want cheap tires on that truck. Yeah, uh, think of it this way. The only thing stopping between your car and the road is your tires. And, and a little <laughs> tiny piece of those tires too, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. it's not the whole tire. So, well, it's tremendous. Uh, I'm really, really happy with where you've come. We're going to take a short break and thank our sponsors here. And we come back, we're going to dive into this passion that this tire guy has with cars and tires in a minute. So again, c- keep your seatbelt on, uh, apply the brakes gently, and we'll be right back. Let's take a pit stop from the conversation and talk about my charity of choice here at Cars Yeah, America's Automotive Trust. America's Automotive Trust is a group of like-minded nonprofits working together to preserve and promote car culture across the country. Together, they provide scholarships and grants to aspiring technicians and restoration artists. They provide youth education programs and bring communities together through auto-related events, car shows, and drives. One of those nonprofits is very near and dear to my heart because it's right down the road from the Cars Yeah headquarters. It's the LeMay America's Car Museum in Tacoma, Washington. One of the world's truly great automobile collections and one of those must-see bucket list destinations for car people like you and me. If you haven't seen it, I hope you make a trip soon. And if you have seen it, it's probably time to visit again. To learn more about this fantastic museum, go to www.americascarmuseum.org. And while you're there, you can donate to help them keep their engines running. That's www.americascarmuseum.org. My favorite collector car magazine is Keith Martin's Sports Car Market. I've been a subscriber for decades. Sports Car Market is the Wall Street Journal for enthusiasts and collectors. It's your monthly must-read, whether you dream of owning a collector car, maybe you have two, or maybe you've got 200. Sports Car Market has been around for 31 years, and it's filled with valuable articles, intelligent write-ups, 
and the latest auction sales. Go to sportscarmarket.com and subscribe today. Here's a couple deals I have for you just for listening here on Cars Yeah. If you use the checkout code Cars Yeah, you'll receive a 50% discount on your digital subscription at Sports Car Market. That's an exclusive offer from Cars Yeah. And guess what? Here's another deal. If you'd like to get the actual magazine, use the code BSH for buy, sell, hold. That's code BSH. And you'll get $10 off your annual print subscription. That's right. $10 off. Both of these are exclusive offers here at Cars Yeah for Sports Car Market Magazine. Just go to sportscarmarket.com and get your deals today. Kevin Buckler is a winning racer and team owner of the Racers Group. He has over 100 professional wins, multiple wins at the 24-hour of Daytona, and a win at Le Mans. Kevin realized the racing world is about the people and founded Adobe Road Winery. He and his team have created a winning combination with the Racing Series, four ultra-premium red wine blends that are in a class of their own with a racing twist. Just like in racing, these wines comprise of art, precision, engineering, science, superb taste, all blended together with a whole lot of fun. There are four carefully crafted blends with race-inspired names. Redline, Apex, Shift, and the 24. When you purchase all four, you get the entire lineup in a beautifully designed gift box. There's a printed description of the blends inside the box lid, and every bottle is parked in a protective die-cut placeholder. The bottles feature three-dimensional labels, and I promise you'll want to keep them after enjoying these delicious wines. The box is so cool, you'll want to keep it too. The Racing Series is a killer gift for the automotive enthusiasts in your life, and I have a deal for you. If you use the code CARSYEAH, all one word, all caps, at checkout, you'll get $10 off any purchase of wine from the Racing Series. Your wine ships promptly and arrives quickly. Use the code CARSYEAH at checkout for $10 off on your purchase today. There's always a seat at the table for excellence with the Racing Series. Go to adoberoadwines.com and use the code CARSYEAH today to get your deal. Cheers. Okay, Jared, we're back. We're going to learn a little bit more about you. We know when you were a little kid that you kind of knew every tire size that fit on every car. Uh, was that really where your passion started? I know your family's in the business of tires. So was that when this whole passion with tires and cars began for you? So it's funny. A lot of people in this industry, they love, love, love cars, right? But for yeah. me, that passion is for tires and wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and so it started when I was like, in my, I would say a little kid, maybe teenager. I started to always look at cars and parking lots, but I wasn't looking at the car. I was looking at the piece of the rubber mm-hmm. <laughs> on the car. Yeah, yeah. And then as I got older, I started to have like a photographic memory with tire sizes with vehicles. Wow. Uh, so that's where mine kind of started. And then all of a sudden I started to realize like I should be doing this. Uh, so I enjoy cars, but I love tires. <laughs> it's, it's my passion. Well, it's a funny thing. And for us, people listening to cars, yeah, are automotive enthusiasts, true and true. And we all know when we walk by a vehicle, when it's got the wrong tires and the wrong wheels, it, it just, you don't even have to look you or look at the, the facts. You just go, that's just not right. It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't fit right. And I know back when I was first, I've been married 35 years now, I was dating my wife and we were in a parking lot and we walked by a car and I said to her, I said, man, those are some nice rollers. And she's like, what? (laughs) And I go, well, wheels and tires, rollers. And she's like, oh my gosh, rolled her eyes. She stuck with me. She married me. So she knew what she was in for. (laughs) But you're right. It it just, they don't look right sometimes. And, And the balance is off. And even with hot rods or resto rods, sometimes even the wheel tire balance, it works or it doesn't work. So the goal here with you guys, obviously, is for normal cars on the road is to really make sure that those customers are are riding on the right tires all the time, right? Well, one, yeah, one story I'll never forget is we had a customer call in and he's telling me, he's like, it's a really weird ride. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, well, tell me about your car. Tell me what you're riding on. What's the tire cell stuff? And he goes over and he tells me everything. He goes, and my suspension's off and all. And he's, and he's keep telling me about all these problems he's having. And I was like, I was like, well, I'm automatically, I'm, I'm identifying two problems. One, the tire store you went to put on the wrong tire size that was meant for a car. Uh, he put a, he put a 15 inch car tire on a vehicle that was supposed to have like a 15 inch SUV. Oh yeah. And it wasn't even close to the right size. Wow. And then on top of that, it was rubbing on the wheel well. Oh gosh. Yeah. And, and so 
you know, the guy just went to like some random tire store mm-hmm. that who knows if that person was even educated in what he was selling to the customer. Yeah. Uh, so we heard a couple stories like that. And, and once he, we put on the new tires for him, his whole like attitude changed. He was so grateful and so thankful. Yeah. Um, but when I'm in a parking lot and I see car tires, even if it's the same size, because there are differences, there are some size that fit an SUV and a car. Mm-hmm. When I see a car tire and an SUV, I'm like, what is this person doing? Yeah, well, they probably shopped at the wrong place and they were looking only at price, perhaps. But who knows? Uh, it's hard to say. You, you remember back now, you were kind of young, but years ago when uh, the we end up calling them exploders, the Ford Explorer had this severe tire problem. I think it was with Firestone tires. 2000. Yeah, and they yeah, were, I remember. It. Yeah, they were blowing out and so forth. What was the real story behind that? What did they ever resolve? What was really going on there? I think I could be wrong, but I think it was they were over inflating the tires or under inflating. It had to do with the inflation of the tires. Mm-hmm. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, and I don't know whose fault it was, but I remember it was leading to Ford Explorers like flipping over. If that was if that was right. Yeah. I was c- coming back from taking my daughter to a concert when she was in junior high. We saw one blow up and flip right in front of us on a freeway yeah oh my full, god full of people yeah uh, another family had taken their kids it was horrifying and uh i couldn't remember what was really going on but it kind of makes sense and that's where when i talked about how important tire pressure is on cars it's incredibly important i know i used to race cars and you could make a car radically different with even a half a pound of air pressure oh, yeah. in a ra- on a race car but in a street car when you're down 10, 15, 20 pounds. And is it true that in cold weather, your tires will lose pressure faster? Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. And yeah. so people a lot of times forget to check that like every season, but they should really be checking it like every couple months yeah. to make sure. Oh, definitely. But yeah, the, the change in weather will absolutely affect that. Yeah, absolutely. What was your first special car in your life? The first car <laughs> that you got that you really kind of went, wow, this is so cool. Okay, well, it's not fancy at all, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's a it's a 1999 Saab 9.5 with the turbo button yeah. uh, in the middle. That was yeah. the first car I ever owned, and it's special to me because I bought it on my own. I had uh, just saved up money, and it was <laughs> not the best car or probably the safest because it was definitely used. Yeah. But I used to love driving that car. It was so fun on the highway, and just uh, I'll never forget it. It was a great experience. Those are interesting vehicles with the key in the center console straight down. Oh, you remember that? <laughs> well, yeah, because I, I detailed cars when I was a kid starting at 14, and I had some clients with Sobs, and they were such unique cars to begin with. But the thing that I didn't like about that was if they were messy in their car, food and, and junk would get in that key slot. And cost, yep. <laughs> you know, because it was right there where you could spill your coffee into it. And yeah, they were just, you know, you always hear the, the sad sob story about sob <laughs> car owners too. Uh, yeah, they didn't have the greatest reputations. Although I, I recall Jerry Seinfeld, big time Porsche car guy, in his early series, he was driving a sob. And sobs were kind of cars that got techie engineers drove. You know, they were, yeah. So maybe that's what, is that what I just remember, I remember a lot of mechanics not wanting to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> you needed putty from the, uh, the Seinfeld show to work on it. So, or no, no, <laughs> right. who was that? There was another guy. Uh, he went on to be a comedian, real tall guy, um, with a real deep voice. Can't think of his name, but yeah, he was the sob mechanic on Jerry's car for sure. I'm going to get into your head a little bit here, Jared. Maybe this has changed a bit over the last three years. If you woke up and you were a vehicle, actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to twist this on you a little bit, okay? All right. I usually ask people if they woke up and they were a car, based on how they perceive themselves, what kind of car they would be. What kind of tire would Jared be? <laughs> um, I would prob- I would say probably one of two of them. Okay. Um, either the Toyo Celsius. Okay. Uh, because it is a tire that is versatile in any weather, including like heavy snow. Oh, okay. Um, it's an all weather tire, not an all season tire. Yeah. So there's a slight difference. Yeah. And then the other one, I would probably do. I'm thinking like maybe the Goodyear Wrangler because it works tirelessly. It's like that blue collar <laughs> type of like feel, and that's me. Well said. I like it. That yeah. There you go. And I'm or not- the Firestone Transforce. Oh, Either Transforce. One. Okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. Yeah, that I'm makes... one of those people that likes to roll up my sleeves and work, you know, nonstop. So yeah. I think one of those two would probably define me. You know, I want to ask you something real quick because uh, working from home, one thing that 
I you learn is you don't put miles on your car. And I've been working from home since I started this podcast. And I took my car in to have it serviced. And I was asking them about tires and so forth. And he said, Mark, I'm a little uh, concerned about you because you're not paying attention. He goes, you know how old these tires are in your car? And of course, <laughs> I know about that little, that oval on tires. And you can, and I go, well, I haven't paid attention. He goes, these tires are 11 years old. And my car only has 60,000 miles on it because I just don't drive it much. My toy car, my play car Porsche, I bought that 11 years ago, and it had very bad tires on it, and those are 11 years old. Could you talk about that a little bit? Because this particular tire yeah. store said, we won't put these back on your, your car. They're too old. Yep. We can't do it. And, of course, they look brand new because I don't put any miles on the car. So what's happening to a tire after that many years that I should be and our listeners should be concerned about, yeah. it, even if they look brand new? Yeah, no, it's a great question. Uh, so a couple of things. So the main thing is dry rotting. Mm -hmm. uh, typical dry rot happens at around, I believe it's year seven to 10, give or take, depending on, you know, the climate that you're in. Right. Uh, so I never recommend getting tires even close to that age because as you're dry routing, that's where you start seeing the cracks mm -hmm. and then it becomes yeah, unsafe cycle. to drive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing is if you've already driven on it previously and you haven't had tire rotations done fairly regularly, now you're wearing it out unevenly over mm -hmm. time. I see. So even if it's sitting in just, a, you know, even if it's sitting, but you're not ma maintaining it as you're driving and then you start to drive it over long distances, you're going to start to notice the tire wearing almost unevenly. Yeah. Okay. Well, shame on me, and I know better, and and I I know those answers you just shared, but I wanted our listeners to hear that yep. uh, from an expert. Uh, maybe they don't believe me, but they'll believe you. <laughs> uh, how important that is, and I'll tell you a quick story. I bought a vintage, a '66 uh, GT350 Shelby Mustang. It was a clone, but it was a beautiful car, and it had been restored 14 years earlier. And it had hardly been driven, maybe 500 miles. And I got it, and I was so excited. I just started driving it the first week, and one of the tires blew out. And luckily, oh, wow. I didn't hit anything with it. I had it towed in, and the guy goes, what the hell is the story with these tires? They're like 22 years old. <laughs> and I said, well, the car's been sitting for decades. And then I just got it, and he goes, you know, he just, like, shook his finger at me and, and told me what you just told me. But he said, that's the scary thing is the tires looked perfect from the outside. But he yep. did have me take a real close up look. Cause if you use tire dressing and everything, it hides those little cracks. There's dirt yes. here. You don't notice them. But if you look at the inside where you're not dressing the tire, it was horrific. And then he showed me the inside of the tires he took off the car and it was downright scary. Now, yeah. Yeah. That, that's really apart. scary part. Yeah, yeah. So. People don't realize to even look at that. No, no, not at all. And again, people really don't even inspect their tires uh, on their cars, just simply putting it up and rotating and seeing if there's a piece of metal in them or a crack or a bulge even that'll happen. Uh, we had that happen on one of my tires in my wife's car. Uh, took it in for service and he goes, check this out. And the inside of one of the had like bulged out like a boil or something, you know, uh, frightening. So just the other scary part is when people buy like a sports car. And the sports car comes with a summer tire and people don't realize that. And then they're driving in the winter. Mm. Next thing you know, they're skidding everywhere. Yeah. Hydroplaning all over the place. Yeah. People, a lot of people need to realize that when you're getting a new car, you got to look at the tires and you may need to change them even though you just got the car yep. because it may not be suitable to the weather you're driving in. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. We're going to jump into the last lap here. I'm going to fire off some right. uh, lightning round questions for you. Would you share one of your personal habits you believe has contributed to your many successes? Yeah, I think it's starting the morning really early at around 6 a.m. I like to get a head start on the day, start my morning by reading up on tech news and industry news. And then <laughs> I'm not proud of this and I don't recommend it, but I do have a sweet tooth. <laughs> and <laughs> since I don't since I don't drink coffee, I need my sugar. Yep. There you go. If I could wave a magic wand and you could sit down and have a meal with anyone in the automotive industry or the automotive business industry, living or deceased, who would it be? Uh, probably Henry Ford. Uh, I've always would love, I've always wanted to kind of know what inspired him to create that Model T. Yeah. Because even though cars were around for, it was never quite on like a mass production level like the way he did it. And uh, I think he innovated the auto industry for sure. Oh, for sure. And of course, uh, speaking of tires, uh, that relationship he formed with Firestone uh, way back when, I believe was yep. the first one. And then the whole story about the charcoal briquettes that came out of one of the factories of <laughs> the wood and so forth. So yeah, it's a fascinating story. He'd be incredible. How about automotive advice someone else has ever offered you? What would that be? Um, I have to default to tires of with course. my dad. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he always told me to check the tread. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Is that little penny test still a good way to test or is there something that is new and approved? Yeah. I mean, I like tread gauges. Yeah. I, I think that's a little more accurate, but for somebody who's a novice that just wants like a quick check, you could still use the quarter or the penny. It's different depending on which coin. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's very good if people have like a little, uh, tread gauge in their car. Yeah. They're really inexpensive. You can get them anywhere. In fact, some tire stores give them away. So, uh, exactly. Yeah. How about a great resource? Uh, I'm kind of guessing I know the answer to this one. Oh, um, I would say for, for tires, I mean, tireagent.com. Tireagent.com, of course. <laughs> now, I was kind of leading you down that path, but of course, uh, we've got to use that one. And again, I really encourage you listeners out there, and we're all car people listening here to Cars Yeah, check out the, the site here. I think you're going to find it fascinating, easy. Yeah, check it out. It's real easy, tireagent.com. Have a little bit of fun there. And of course, if you have any questions, they've got uh, support there for you as well. Is there a book that you've read that has really offered you some great either business or car advice that you could share? All right. I know this is very corny and cliche, <laughs> but when I started Tire Agent, um, I actually found the book, The Secret, to be very helpful. Um, okay. It inspires positive thinking. And so when no one believes in, in you, you have to believe in yourself. And so I think, you know, any type of book that you can read that can help keep your mind stimulated when things are tough are always very healthy. The book, The Secret. Now, I'm trying to remember who wrote that book. Uh, was it R Rhonda B Byron? Is that I right? think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've got that book. Somebody gave me that book a while ago. Yeah, it's a great book. And of course, you can get audiobooks these days too. But I'm going to remind our listeners there's a great place in the Cars yeah website called Guest Recommended Books, where I'll put the secret and all the books that are recommended by my inspiring automotive enthusiasts are listed there. Real easy clicks to buy. There's over 16, actually, there's over 1,700 books there. You can fill a whole library with these, these books. So just go to carsyeah.com, click on the resources tab, and you'll see guest recommended books, including this one by Jared Google called The Secret. All right, we're up to the checkered flag here. We'll see if your answer has changed any over time as you've matured and uh, progressed in your <laughs> business. I'm going to buy you a very cool collector car today. It's going to have great tires on it, of course, from tireagent.com. Uh, it, uh, it can be something that is a toy, a bit of fun. I know you live in New York where a lot of people don't have cars, but you can take it out in the country and enjoy it. Uh, I want you to drive it. No garage queens. But here's the, the kicker to this whole thing. It's got to tick all the boxes. It's the only one cool collector fun car you can have. So what can I buy you? All right. Can I choose two? <laughs> well, we can start with two, but you're going to have to narrow it down because if I buy you right. two cars, I got to go back to 1,625 <laughs> other people and buy them cars too. And I'm running out of money. So, uh. <laughs> All right. I would say... The VW Phaeton. Uh, it was that sleek, classy car that no one ever talked about. It was yeah. way ahead of its time. Yeah. Uh, put a few little modern tricks into that thing, and it would be perfect. Yeah. That's what you chose last time. So you said there were two. How, how have you evolved over the last three years? Oh, give me a Jeep Wrangler with big all-terrain tires <laughs> any day. <laughs> well, you're not going to cost me too much money. I appreciate that today. I can afford nah. those. I'll put a lift kit in it and some big wheels, and I'm good. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do you like that the new uh, the new Bronco they just came out with the kind of retro look Bronco? Do you like that? I'm not a Bronco fan no. as much as I am a Jeep fan. Jeep, Jeep fan. Okay, well, Jeeps. Uh, there's some fanatics out there. I happen to know some people in that industry, so we could set you up with something very, very cool, Jared. I'm so happy you came back and shared your success with me today. Really proud of where, where you brought your company. Uh, having you on the show as a new entrepreneur and now a seasoned entrepreneur with so much success warms my heart. Before I let you drive off into the, either the hillside in that Jeep Wrangler or the the roadways of that VW Phaeton. One little piece of parting advice you might offer our listeners, what would that be? Uh, just never give up on yourself. Take care of your tires. <laughs> yeah. And visit tireagent.com for any of your tire needs. Absolutely. I'll make sure to put a link to that. But it's easy to find. Pick up your phone right now when you're done listening to this. Log into tireagent.com and check out what they have to offer. I uh, also want to thank your uh, uh, nice PR person, uh, Rochelle Levine. Is, am I saying that right? Levine or Levine? Levine? Uh, Levine. Levine. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rochelle, uh, for connecting me here today. Uh, again with Jared, Full Scale Media, of course. I have so many PR friends 
firms that reach out to me to bring their clients on board. So uh, there you go. Thanks for that. Jared, thanks for being so generous today with your time, your expertise, and for coming back to visit me here on Cars. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk with you again. Until you and I see each other later down the road, I'll see you down that same road. And by the way, we didn't define which of those two cars. I'm not going to let you get away with that. You're sneaky. Which car is it going to be today? <laughs> Am I going to buy you another Phaeton or is it going to be the Wrangler? You know what? The weather's looking pretty good right now. I think I got to go for the Wrangler. There we go. Something <laughs> different. That's always good. I'll see you soon, my friend. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. If you're listening to Cars Yeah, you've probably spent some time working on your favorite ride. But how confident are you working on your finances? You may be able to rebuild a fuel injection system, but can you decipher the details of a mutual fund? If you're like me, investments, insurance, annuities, budgeting, and other financial concepts may seem a bit daunting, but what if I told you there's a book that describes these subjects and more in an easy-to-read and a very humorous way? My friend Chris Kimball, CFP, a longtime sponsor and past guest here on Cars Yeah, has written that book, and it's titled The Saga of Ike and Penny, a couple's humorous journey through the confusing world of finance. It's a fun look at things you need to know, everything from investing to effective ways to get rid of credit card debt, and it's probably the only book on finance with a VMAX on the front cover and a classic Mini Cooper on the back. The book's available at Amazon for just $10, and this book will dramatically improve the direction of your financial future. I gave copies to each of my children. All securities are through Money Concepts Capital Corp. Christopher Kimball Financial Services is not affiliated with Money Concepts Capital Corp. Get your copy, The Saga of Ike and Penny, today. Thank you so much for joining us on today's ride here at Cars Yeah! Drive on over to CarsYeah.com to find show notes and inspiring automotive fun. Download your free copy of Filler Up, a fun book filled with gorgeous photographs of fuel filler fun, including quotes from more inspiring automotive enthusiasts. Download your copy today, and we'll see you next time on Cars Yeah! Yeah!